All right, what's up, everybody? A um, little bit of a change of pace today. I'm not quite sure what category to throw this in, but I've been messing around with Dolly, ChatGPT, some of the other AI programs out there just for fun, and I'm extraordinarily impressed with the capabilities of Dolly. I know there's a lot of stuff out there. I want to show you some of the coolest uh, art that I've generated with it, and uh, maybe in some future videos I'll give you some tips and tricks on things I've learned about how to bend Dolly's uh, limitations to give more complete better types of art that you're looking for uh, especially if you're looking through for continuity across multiple pieces so I'm just gonna flip through some of my favorites that I've generated um, this is for a project that I'm working on with my brother called mugshot mugshots where uh, we're going to to put people's mugshots on tiny little mugs like mugshots and so it's mugshot mugshots um, this was a psych, I told, I told Dolly, draw me a psychedelic looking flower. I thought this was a great, uh, rendition of that. This was a really cool one. I forget the exact prompt. I asked it for some prehistoric something or other with a golden sunset. You can see I've got some, <clears throat> some sort of, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex down here, some pterodactyls. Uh, maybe Dolly's trying to do a long neck, uh, a couple long neck dinosaurs through here. Uh, so the concept is there. Maybe some things aren't quite uh, accurate to scale. I mean, you, you look at the size of this behemoth compared to some of these others, and it's it's maybe not little to scale. But but overall, very cool look and feel of a Jurassic era type uh, painting. Let's see. Moving on to the next one, more psychedelic flowers. I love this one where it brought several of them into a single scene. Uh, this, I think, the prompt was an elven city on the ocean or a majestic elven city with a sunrise something like that and initially this image was actually just one uh, small square so if you think of it divide it into four ish parts I think the first section that Dolly gave me was this top right part and then I expanded into these other four quadrants as well uh, that's one of my favorite aspects of, of Dolly is learning how to to take the first image that it gives you that you like and then expand it into a much larger image that that shows a lot more um, this was a little mountain scene with a foggy sunrise or a foggy sunset uh, this one I, I absolutely love this one I, I asked for a safari digital art of a safari sunset uh, and I don't remember what I what what adjective I use to get these types of colors, but I'm just absolutely in love with the feel of this one. I love the, the little family of giraffes over here, the family of elephants here. I think in one of the later versions, I actually got some lions to show up as well, pride of lions, but this was absolutely one of my 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 favorite pieces Dolly's created for me. Uh, oh, here, here we go. It wasn't lions, it was a water buffalo. <laughs> so I've got a water buffalo here and some sort of bird, and I've I just freaking love it. I think it did a great job. The prompt here was a, I believe, a psychedelic crystal cave. So imagine you're in some sort of cave here with these glowing crystals all around. But I thought that was uh, pretty neat. I do not remember the prompt on this one. I think it was psychedelic thinking man. So you know the the thinking man statue, the famous statue where the guy's just sitting like this. Um, I think that I I wanted to play off of that. I did psychedelic thinking man. And it spat this out, which is kind of trippy. And the contrast between the guy that looks a little bit, I wouldn't say depressed, but he looks a little maybe uh, melancholy or emotionless, and he's all grayscale, and then these wild colors around him. Um, just a, a really unique uh, piece that, uh, that we got it to spit out. Let's go to the next one. Uh, my, my idea here, I wanted to do some art around Bitcoin. I've been exploring Bitcoin a little bit as something that I might uh, throw a, a little bit of, an, of money into. And uh, a lot of people talk about how when fiat burns, Bitcoin will, you know, that's, that's going to be the new gold standard, so to speak. So I was trying to get something where it's like a pile of fiat is burning and there's a, there's a Bitcoin above it. Um, that's... Uh, and that was the inspiration behind that one. This one is a, a very common uh, 
phrase that I've started hearing is stacking sats, like stacking satoshis, which is like, a, I guess, the smallest unit of a Bitcoin. So I was like, all right, let's do a, a stack of golden Bitcoins or something like that. And it, it turned out all right. I actually, I really love the look of this coin here. What I don't like is if you look at this pile for too long, you can see that it just doesn't, like the pile of coins doesn't make sense uh, at all. So that was fun. Uh, this was a cool one. This one, the idea was... Um, to get Atlas, you know, the, the guy in, in Greek mythology that's holding up the world, but then it, he's holding a, a Bitcoin. Um, and so there's this one. I think there's one more Bitcoin warrior here. I thought that was actually kind of cool. So like a Spartan warrior seal and a shield is a Bitcoin. Here's another one, Spartan warrior with a Bitcoin shield. Here's the other Atlas one. I, I love the style of this. I mean, this is like, this is just the classic Greek look with the golden halo behind him and and uh, the little, uh, I don't know what you call this, the toga wrap. Uh, really cool stuff. Bitcoin City right here. This one turned out all right. It wasn't my favorite, but it was all right. A Bitcoin moon, right? Bitcoin to the moon, so why not make a Bitcoin moon? Bitcoin is the moon. Uh, I liked this one a lot. I thought that the the glow was very cool and the way that, that Dolly took the light from the moon and then cast it into the clouds was that was very cool. Uh, I don't remember what I was doing here, but uh, I was making some sort of logo for something and it turned out all right, like a little earth science-y type logo. Um, all right, so for any of those kids from the 90s who remember the game Worms Armageddon, one of the absolute best games that has ever been created of all time, this was a, an inspiration from that. I wanted Dolly to create me a little ninja worm, and it did a good job. It looks, it, it has a similar feel. It's not quite the same art style as Worms Armageddon, but my goodness, that was a fun game. What was this? This was a mushroom, ba like a mushroom baking cookies in the kitchen or something like that was the prompt for this. It came out with this cute little mushroom lady with a little apron on and some... I don't know, some rolls or some buns or something to the side of her, so that was kind of a, a cute one. What's amazing to me is to see the difference in all these art styles, the way that, that Dolly can can just from one to the next uh, keep all these these different types of art styles. <laughs> this is one, uh, my wife found a little, uh, like a cute little bathroom piece of art that says, let that shiitake go, and it has a shiitake mushroom on it, so I told chat GPT has like, draw me a shiitake mushroom that just finished going to the bathroom. <laughs> and I got this, so uh, I thought that was that was kind of cute, kind of clever. This uh, was a couple of people looking out over a city, like on a date night or something. Uh, and I think I said, do it in the style of Starry Night, Van Gogh's Starry Night. And so it kind of has some elements of that, but not quite as, as much. But I, I love, oh, this was oil painting. That's what this was, it was oil painting of a couple looking over the city and, and watching the stars. Um, this was another one. This one is the one I might have said in the style of Starry Night. I really, my wife really likes this one. This is one of her favorite ones. I think it's it's absolutely gorgeous as well. This was cool. So this is more of like almost like a three D animated type look. Like my my inspiration here is Monsters Inc. Mike Wazowski had wanted to give some give me you know, give me a purple monster, and it came up with this, and I. I mean, it's totally different than anything else. You can see here, some of the fingers look kind of funky and same with down in this area. So if I were to actually finalize this image um, and same with some of these teeth, I would erase these sections and have Dolly recreate them and then, and then you can fine tune the image that way. Uh, this was a succulent. I think the prompt was a cute succulent digital art and it gave us this little Succulent plant with a cute little face on the pot. That was fun. An eggplant, cute eggplant, cute egg. Like, look at that happy little egg. <laughs> Everybody likes a happy little egg. Uh, zebra plant. This was cool. So as we were going through the plants, I asked my wife for another plant. She said, do a zebra plant plant. So I told it to do zebra plant, which is an actual plant. And it came up with some zebra plants, but then it also Dolly came up with this, which was so clever. It's, it's a zebra as a plant. Uh, very clever, very cute. Cute cactus here. Um, another cute succulus. This one, it, it kind of gave it a little blushing, shy look, which was fun. 
Um, oh, this we're get, we're gonna get into some good stuff here. So this was inspired by another piece that's coming up. Um, but I told Dolly here I wanted an onion samurai, and I was I was having a really hard time getting the onion samurai. But I got some other ones. This one was cool. It's a little young onion samurai. This was an older onion samurai, which is fun. So like the sensei and and maybe the the uh, Padawan learner. Um, then this was the tomato samurai, and then this was the original one, and I am in love with this piece. It's avocado samurai, and Dolly just nailed it. Like, look at that. The, the facial expression, the red headband, the shadows on the face from the hat, uh, the sword, the art style, the colors, everything. It just absolutely nailed it. There's another Bitcoin moon, another Bitcoin moon. This is more of a Van Gogh style. Another Bitcoin moon, Bitcoin city again. <laughs> this one was funny. So I don't know why Dolly sometimes will try to put letters or words into the art and it doesn't know, like Dolly, it doesn't, is not that good at words. And so it came up with butt cane instead of Bitcoin, <laughs> which I kind of like it. It's kind of funny, but. Um, it's just, it's funny to me to see how, how Dolly tries to do words, but it can't quite do it yet. Uh, this was a cool mushroom. Uh, we were, we were doing some, since we were on the psychedelic flowers, so I said, well, why not psychedelic mushrooms? People, you know, psychedelic shrooms, see what, what that comes up with. It came up with that, which was cool. Here's another one. Um, and another this one almost looks more like a jellyfish to me, and it gave it some eyes, which was interesting. It looks like this sad jellyfish mushroom. Crystal Cave, I think I showed that one. Here's another of the Crystal Cave. I loved this one. This one I can just imagine, like, almost like there's some water down here, and this is a ship that's going through, an like, with a big light, and it's exploring the Crystal Cave. Um, stained Glass, I said, do some mushrooms in a stained glass art style. And this is what Dolly came up with. More stained glass art. This one is just a cool mountain scene, you know, sunset on a mountain with some pine trees, beautiful, beautiful outdoor scene. Another one just gorgeous with this fog rolling through and this golden orange uh, sunset in the background. Or maybe this would actually, this looks more like a sunrise to me actually. Um, I, I like World of Warcraft, I like Warcraft 3, so I wanted some Lich King inspired art and this is what it came up with. Very, uh, very different than the Lich King in World of Warcraft. But there's a lot of elements that you can say, oh yeah, I can totally see similarities here, and, and maybe this is some fan art of that. Here's another one. He's too skinny and too small to be Arthas, but a very similar style. I started experimenting with, like, give me like a dwarven mystical door carved into a mountain, uh, thinking of like Lord of the Rings and the Mines of Moria, and uh, this was one of the ones it came up with. Absolutely loved the look and feel of this. Uh, here's another one. I think what's so great about this, I'm not, I'm not an artist myself. I'm, I have not developed that skill. I don't plan to ever develop that skill. Maybe I will in the future. I don't plan on it though. But I love creative, uh, the creative aspect of it, and I love building things and creating things. So what's so unique about Dolly is it gives someone like me a creative outlet to start uh, expressing these ideas that I have and finding ways to build them out into something bigger. Um, I've also, some of my family and friends are, are very talented artists and they said they love using Dolly as kind of like a, like a, kind of like writer's block, but for artists just to like kind of get ideas and, and start getting their juices churning so they can start visualizing some things and then they take it and, and make their own, um, stuff out of the ideas they get from Dolly. This is another, uh, door, like an, in a mountain, a dwarven door in a mountain. Here's another one. Uh, this Okay, so here's the Elven City. This is the original, the Elven City at the beginning. This is the original that Dolly gave me, and then I expanded it into a much bigger piece. Uh, golden Sun, I think I said Golden Sunset in the desert. So you got these nice big desert plateaus here. I imagine this is kind of like Indian Creek, Utah, or somewhere in southern Utah. And you have these gorgeous golden sunsets with these big red cliff plateaus. Uh, another psychedelic flower, a few different versions of that. Um, lots of really cool stuff. I think for this one, I said, give me like a swag, e a swag bald eagle or a, 
or something like that. And it gave it these nice sunglasses and just this funny look. Here's another one and another one. Or maybe it was retro swag. I don't remember. But fun, fun ideas from Dolly there. Um, this, I was playing around with some stuff because my brother's in the, in the Marines. So I was just trying to say, like, I'll oh, make me, like, a Marine logo. And I came up with that. So you can see, again, like, S-E... F F E M, like it's trying to do words S M M E E, but it doesn't quite get it. But this, this face in the middle is just excellent. This was inspired by League of Legends. Um, the prompt I gave it was give me digital art of uh, Vigar, the evil Yordle Lord, or something like that. And it gave me this one, it was like, that's actually pretty cool. And then this one, I absolutely love this one. So, same prompt gave me both of these two images. Vigar, the evil Yordle Lord, and I can imagine this is, you know, before Vigar put on his cloak and you can see anything, maybe this was his early transition phase, and like, look how cool that concept art could be. Um, this, I gave it, the, I gave Dolly the prompt of, um, draw me a digital art representation of humans interacting with artificial intelligence. Uh, in the future, and this is what it gave, some golden glowing background that almost looks like a, I don't know, like some highly advanced technical uh, room, and then you've got a human here reaching out, touching a robotic uh, arm, which I would assume is, is controlled by an AI. Um, this, I think the prompt was, draw me a creature that represents prosperity and wealth, and it came up with this Chinese dragon with these golden colors which was fun. Uh, this was, I don't remember, my wife had this, I don't remember what prompt she gave it for this, but it's this, I might, maybe it was just as simple as a giraffe kissing a monkey or something like that. And yeah, this cute little giraffe, cute little monkey having a little friendship or something. Uh, this was another one inspired us, I think what prompt was, draw me something that represents uh, the Marines watching over the United States of America. And this was, this is what it came out with, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, Skulls, what was I doing? Oh, my brother-in-law was asking me to, to try some skull type stuff because he was, I think he was doing some tattoos of skulls or something like that. Um, oh, these guys, holy cow. So I've re I've, if you haven't read the Stormlight Archives, that's what inspired this art. Uh, I was trying, my, my goal here was to get Dolly to draw a Parshendi in war form. And I didn't get that, but what I ended up getting was this rad series of, in my mind, it's like the Dark Iron Dwarves from World of Warcraft, but these are like the Blood Dwarves or something like that, and they have their own mythology and their own history, so the Blood Dwarves somewhere. So I've got five of them. I imagine these are five brothers or five kings or something like that. So here's, here's one that's kind of got more of like a mystical look, a sage type look. This is more of a warrior... Uh, type personality, another warrior type personality with this really interesting looking mask on, um, an another warrior personality and another warrior. So just really cool, uh, different styles. But um, I, I when it came, when these got spat out, it blew my mind. And I thought this would be incredible if you uh, if you run a dungeons, if you're dungeon master for Dungeons and Dragons group, and you want to really bring your scenario alive, you could feed those ideas into into Dolly, and then boom, it's spitting out this concept art that you can say, now you're facing off against this dragon or this dark iron dwarf, dark blood dwarf king or whatever, and you're starting to really bring things alive for your for your crew. Um, I don't even remember what the prompt was for this but it was a really cool bird that, that got spat out. I used a background removing tool to take away the, back, the black background and it looks even better. Um, robot, abandoned robot in a forest, like after a, an apocalypse type thing, and this was very interesting. Uh, so you've got this robot and these, this foliage growing over him. Uh, another cute succulent, I really like this one, cute little face here. I think that's it, that's, that's the end of it there. So. Very fun art, all sorts of cool stuff uh, from Dolly. There are some really interesting possibilities here. I know people are talking a lot about, oh, how can you monetize Dolly and do stuff? And it's like, yeah, you can. Like we've got an Etsy store that we put some of the some of our favorite pieces on. We haven't sold anything, but we did it anyway just because we thought it was cool. 
with some drop shipping. This, oh, this piece here, I didn't show this one. This is one piece I, I made for myself. So I said, do uh, Darth Vader, but as a samurai with a red uh, samurai sword. And this is what it spat out. I was like, I like that so much. I uh, had a big canvas print done of it to hang up in my office. Um, but so, so beyond just the aspect of like, yeah, you could come up with cool stuff that you sell and make money, but just think about how this enables people to become creators. And if you like, if you're a dungeon master and you want to bring stuff alive, if you need some ideas for some concept art, or you want to create some sort of cool poster or flyer or art for your house, like you can have totally custom unique art for your house that you that was inspired by you and thought of by you and created by chat gpt or excuse me by dolly not by chat gpt uh, i'll do another video on chat gpt later but such a fun idea um to run through and do these kinds of things and uh if, i mean if you enjoyed this please let me know in the comments below what kinds of stuff you've been doing with dolly or other art uh if you want to see more of this and see some of the the tips and tricks that i've learned i've spent I don't know, maybe $50, $60 on Dolly already just buying credits and messing around and stuff. So I've learned quite a bit about how to manipulate the platform and make sure you get art that's a little closer to what you're looking for and, and also to have continuity between multiple images or bet or at least some sort of continuity between it. Um, I, I'll do a video on that sometime soon. But uh, let me know what your favorite image is. I, I'm in love with all of these. I think that they're all just absolutely fun. And uh, I plan on doing a lot with Dolly in the future. So hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video.